Hello, Annika here, and in today's Is It Worth It series, I thought we'd cover the Flash Rider. Um, I've picked a handful of weapons to test it on, uh, including the FAMAS, including Jaeger's 416C, and the 556 used by Thermite as well. I've chose these weapons because they're either really fast firing or really powerful, um, and I think that's going to give the best results when looking at the Flash Rider. Well, what does the Flash Rider even do then? Well, I think you've already realised that it hides the flash or at least restricts the flash that you get from the end of your weapon but it also does another thing and that's reduces small burst recoil now back in the good old days when the game was first released and you only had about two or three muzzle attachments to choose from the flash rider arguably was probably the best attachment to go for Obviously, as newer attachments came out, the other attachments had to be nerfed and buffed to make the new ones slightly more viable. And unfortunately, the Flash Rider fell victim to this as well. But never mind, it's not all dead and buried. And we're going to test it today. I'm going to show you why I think it's still a viable option when choosing a muzzle attachment for your weapon. So the first test I do is I get Jaeger's 416, find a little dark corner of a room, uh, probably my favourite room to test it. And um, as you can see, there's a huge amount of flash on this weapon. This is probably one of the most powerful defender weapons, so chances are this is probably going to give you the biggest amount of flash. Now, with the flash I'd have fitted then, you can already see, ADS in especially, there's no flash or next to no flash whatsoever. So what does this mean then? And why is this important? Well, for Jaeger, imagine if you're defending, you've got no muzzle attachment on, and you're firing through a thin sliver of a window, which defenders usually do, and you're getting huge amounts of flashes. Now, we all know how fast attackers and defenders, but in this in this instance, attackers are. And if they're running left to right, or right to left, or whatever, and there's huge amounts of muzzle flashes, you can see, it's going to completely obscure your view. And that could be the difference between a defender moving across the window or moving across a door away and you not realizing you not seeing and that could be the difference between you getting killed remember this game is all about knowing where your enemy is and the more information you've got on them the more advantage you've got so now if we look with the flash either fitted you can see there's absolutely zero muzzle flash and there's absolutely zero obscure of your view um that's when i'm not hitting walls and blowing brick dust all over the place i need to work on my aiming so is this just for defenders then well no like i mentioned before i've also used it on the 556 so we'll do exactly the same again as you can see found the exact same little dark corner i do one ads and one hip fire and i mean you can already see that there's a massive difference with the flash either fitted and the flash either well not fitted so again it's going to be a slightly different scenario for attackers in the sense that you're probably going to be firing slightly more long range arguably depending on your play style and you can see now when you're firing at the windows even when you're outside on a fully lit day like this you can't really get any brighter than this and there's still a muzzle flash and with the muzzle attachment fitted on a bright sunny day you've got zero obscure of your view and to me that's already worth having a muzzle attachment fitted so like i say it all depends on your play style it all depends on how you personally play but it is something to take into consideration now don't worry about rewinding and having a look at the results or anything like that because i'll get it all up at the end so don't worry all you have to do is watch till the end and you'll be able to see the before and afters and all the proper comparisons so what's the next test then well i thought we'd test the small burst recoil now i already know for a fact this has been nerfed since the game was first released However, I thought we'd pick the FAMAS because this has already got a three shot burst. This is without any attachments fitted whatsoever. I'll do a short, I'll do a medium, and then I'll push out to the steps at the back for a slightly more long range. Obviously, I'll do the exact same thing again with the FAMAS, with the flash either fitted. So as you can see, we're doing the exact same thing again, but this time it's with the flash either. Now remember what I said, I'll get the comparison up at the end, so don't worry about rewinding and taking screenshots, I've done it all for you so there's the close there's the medium and we'll push out to a lock now we'll get the results up now for this one so you can see exactly what's happening so on the left then that's with the flash either and on the right that's without the flash either and as you can see that's quite a big difference especially for the rangers we're shooting so if you're a burst fire player and you want to get rid of the flash and you want to keep your recoil manageable then i think 
a flash hider is a viable option for you. Now, what about full auto? Well, I'm gonna fire a couple of shots with the 416 and what I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna measure the first two shots um, just so we can see the gap between the shots. So we'll do the exact same thing, close, medium, push out to a long, and then we'll do the exact same thing, but now with the flash hider fitted. So you can already see, not only that, my firing's got much better, <laughs> and I'm actually firing two shots now, but you can actually see that the bullets at close range are almost sitting on top of one another. I know it's only a couple of bullets, but with the flash hider fitted, it's doing exactly what it's what it says on the tin, which, which is pretty incredible to be honest. So let's get the comparison up on this one then. So this is a full auto. This hasn't got a burst fire option. So on the left hand side is without, and on the right hand side is with. And as you can see, that's a massive difference. Massive difference. This attachment is like two attachments in one. So I think now is a good time to get the other comparisons up then. So first things first, here's the 416, and on the left is without, on the right is with. As you can see, it's a massive difference. Um, let's have a look of it in action and there you go as you can see it completely obscures a window and almost a doorway that's how big the flash is so the next one then we've got the 552 um, again with on the left and on the right without and we'll put that into practice here and as you can see the massive yellow fog even in broad daylight it is it's pretty ob obstructive of your view so let's have a look at open action. And as you can see with the flash hider fitted, even from this distance, you can see every single bit of movement what's gonna happen in that window. Again, it's all down to your play style. And if none of this makes sense and you can't fit this into your play style, then obviously the flash hider isn't the attachment for you. Um, so take that into consideration. Uh, if there's any other attachments that you want me to test, feel free to let me know. Um, if you like the video and you learned something new, feel free to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any more um thank you and see you later cheers guys bye